So you guys that found this video, this is gonna be a no crank uh, diagnostic video on a Jeep. Um, and it doesn't really matter what year, make, or model the car is. The fundamentals are the same when you have a no crank. And we believe we have a wiring problem. So this will make for a really nice, quick testing video that everyone needs to know how to do, again, regardless of the car. So I'm gonna go battery negative. Okay. Actually, I want to go to the post of this. There's a reason I want to go to the post and not the nut. So post, um, and even though it's hot all the time, you can't say, hey, that's a good test. It's not, there's no current flow. So um, go ahead and crank that, Caleb. All right, ready? Yep. Cranking. Nice, perfect example. Perfect example of a voltage drop. The fact that this light goes out when we're cranking tells us our voltage drop is occurring on the heavy gauge wire. This does not need a starter. Um, just to show you guys, stay there, one more crank. This is the S post. This one should be hot only when cranking. So go ahead and crank it. Okay, you see how that one lit? And then again, the heavy post, a lot of people would say, hey, that's hot all the time, so that's good. It's not, crank it again. Huge voltage drop, huge voltage drop. And then if there's one other check too, not in our case because we found our problem, but the housing itself, you just wanna go on the starter housing and then you would hit the key and make sure that light does not light on the housing uh, to check your ground. If that light would light when you're cranking on the ground, on the housing, then you have a bad block ground. And that happens too. I'll have Caleb pull in what a bad block ground looks like here on this test. Show you one more test on this block using a test light. Got test light connected to battery negative. See when I touch positive test light lights. Go to the block. Of course the test light's not gonna light, right? Go ahead and crank it. Crank it. All right, good. You see the block is lit. That's going battery negative to the block. That test light is lighting. Go ahead, let off the crank position. It's still lit even with the key in the on position. That test light's still lit. Again, bad block ground. So we're chasing our heavy gauge circuit. And the reason I went to the post is I wanted to see what the starter motor is seeing. Now the next step is I'm gonna go to the nut because we could have our problem right here. Go ahead and crank it again, Caleb. Nope, okay. And it's bad right there on the nut as well. Now I'm gonna try to go to the eyelet because we could have a problem between the eyelet and the, and the nut. So I'm on the eyelet now. Okay, crank it. Nice, see how the eyelet stays lit? Go ahead, crank it again. Okay, so it's it's lit on the eyelet. It never shuts off. That means our voltage drop is right here, literally right here. Nice. Go ahead, crank it. That's awesome. Go ahead, crank it. Crank it. All right, so literally all we need to do um, is take that nut off and clean it up and tighten it back up and this thing's gonna start. Um, this, is, this is classic voltage drop stuff here, Caleb. Love it, love it, love it. Me just snugging that bolt up right now would be enough for us to get this going. Okay guys, so this is risky. I'm not disconnecting the battery, but I'm being careful not to touch anything else. All I'm doing is snugging this just a little bit. Okay, and that should be enough. Do you think it'll start? I think it'll start now. That's awesome. So now people are gonna wanna see the result of that test after, of course, the engine's gonna crank, but I'm gonna show it real quick. I'm just gonna put the test light back on there to show everyone yeah. that that light should stay lit yeah while you're cranking. And yeah. so what we'll do to keep the car from starting is I'm gonna disconnect your ignition coil. Mm -hmm. And then that way it cranks and doesn't start while I'm under there. Right. On the stud, 
Go ahead, crank it. Okay. You notice the light dimmed. That's totally normal because you got, you know, 200 amps, 150 amp average, honestly, a 500 amp surge on initial crank. Um, so that light dimming there is fine, but that's, that's what you want to see. You never want to see that light go out here. One more time. Okay. And then final check again. This would be on your ground. This is just really anywhere, anywhere on the housing you can do this, right? And you don't want that light to light. If it would light here, it would never crank, but go ahead, crank it. Okay. And again, Caleb, pull this clip in. Uh, what you guys are seeing here is a loaded ground test. My test light's still connected to battery ground in this, and you can see when we crank this engine over, um, that that light is lighting going to battery ground. So that's your bad block ground scenario. Easy checks all done with a test light. <laughs> Guys, we just want to thank you so much for um, enabling us to do what we do. And uh, we have you guys to thank for all of this. So Absolutely. Uh, we are blessed by each and every one of you. I hope you guys learned something from this one. And we'll see you next time.